expression for joule kelvin equation the ratio of change in temperature of gas to change in pressure during throttling process at constant enthalpy is called is defined as joule kelvin coefficient this is the joule kelvin coefficient expression we are going to derive now when the gas suffers joule kelvin effect the total enthalpy of gas remains constant here enthalpy is the third thermodynamical potential h which is a function of entropy and pressure this remains constant so h is equals to u plus pv which is equals to constant for remembering this thermodynamical potentials video link is available in description kindly watch it here this is constant means change in enthalpy dh is equals to zero differentiation of constant becomes zero now du plus this is in u into v form dp vdp plus pdv is equals to zero we have from the equation joining first and second law of thermodynamics du is equals to tds minus pdv in the place of du we substitute this equation this is equation 1 this is equation 2 we substitute tds minus pdv substitute this we write remaining vdp plus pdv is equals to 0 here pdv pdv get cancel we get pds plus vdp is equals to 0 this is equation number 3 let us suppose entropy s is a function function of pressure and temperature then the change in entropy change in entropy ds can be expressed as expressed as ds is equals to where entropy is a function of pressure and temperature can be expressed as do s by do p where temperature is constant into dp plus do s by do t where pressure is constant into dt here substituting this ds value in this equation 3 we get this is equation number 4 substituting 4 in 3 we get t into ds by dp where temperature is constant here we are substituting this value entire this value here constant into dp plus t into do s by do t where pressure is constant into dt plus v dp is equal to 0 this is equation number 4 in this equation we have to substitute we have to substitute in this term in this term in this place of these terms we know that t into ds by dt of p t ds by dt of p equals to t ds by dt the pressure is constant t ds can be written as dq according to second law of thermodynamics dt of p this can be written as cp we have studied this dq by dt where pressure is constant is cp specific heat at constant pressure now we replace in this place of this equation we replace this in this place do s by do p of t from maxwell's fourth thermodynamical relation <laughs> do s by do p of t is equals to minus do v by do t of p this is the fourth maxwell thermodynamical relation for remembering these relations the link is available in description you can easily remember them now substituting these values in equation 4 we get in this term we have to substitute this value so we are writing t in this place we are writing this value so minus do v by do t where pressure is constant into dp here in this place entire tds by dt where pressure is constant we have to write cp so we write plus cp 
dt we write this b dp is equals to 0 now we send this term on this term to that side this equation becomes cp dt is equals to minus term becomes plus term t dou v by dou t pressure is constant dp this term means plus term so becomes minus term minus dp so now we take dp common so this becomes t dou v by dou t the pressure is constant minus v into dou v or dp which represents change in pressure now finally here in this equation we have dou t here dou t and here dou p here cp so we send cp to this side and we here dou p we bring to this side this equation finally we become dou t by dou p is equals to 1 by cp where t into dou v by dou t where pressure is constant minus v this is the required equation or this can be represented as where h is constant enthalpy is constant this is the expression for joule kelvin coefficient this is the joule kelvin effect coefficient this is joule kelvin effect coefficient and this is the equation for perfect gas and this is the equation for van der waal gas by using this perfect gas we can find the joule kelvin effect for a perfect gas for perfect gas PV is equals to RT. PV is equals to RT. Here we have to change this term. In this term we have to substitute from perfect gas. So we keeping pressure as constant. P as constant. We do differentiation with respect to T. So then this equation becomes dou V by P is a constant so it remains same dou v by dou t where p is constant is equals to where r into dou t by t we are doing differentiation partial differentiation with respect to t so dou t dou t gets cancelled so we have dou v by dou t where pressure is constant is equals to r by p we send this p to this side this becomes r by p we substitute this equation a here so we get Joule Kelvin effect coefficient dou t by dou p where h is equals to 1 by cp into t into in the place we substitute r by p r by p minus v. So finally this equation can be simply written as we know that from ideal gas equation r t r into t is equals to p v. So we write 1 by cp into in the place of r t we write p v by p minus v by cp here pp gets cancelled so we have v minus v which is equals to zero so this value becomes zero for joule kelvin effect for perfect gas is equals to zero in the same way by using van der waal equation we have to find joule kelvin effect for a van der waal gas Now we are going to solve for van der Waal gas. Van der Waal's equation of state is, we write this here, P plus A by V square into V minus B is equals to RT. So we need to substitute this in this term from the equation from van der Waal gas. So we need, we differentiate this equation. this equation with respect to t taking p is equals to constant we have to do differentiation with respect to t and taking p as constant to this equation we get this is in u into v form so we keep u as same we do differentiation for this term this becomes dou v by dou t where pressure is constant so this b becomes zero so we neglect to write that term plus we know we keep v as same we do differentiation for this term differentiation of for constant p becomes zero so we remains this term 
differentiation of 1 by x square is or 1 by x power n differentiation of 1 by x power n is minus n by x power n plus 1. So we write here a is constant we write a as same here v square n value is 2 so minus 2a by v power 2 plus 1 3 v cube into dou v by dou t where pressure is constant is equals to rt. We do differentiation when do we uh, differentiation of t dt becomes 1. This is we have we can take common dv by dt where pressure is constant. So we get dv by dt where pressure is constant. We get v plus a by v square plus v minus b into minus 2a by v cube is equals to r. Here now we send this r term to this side. This becomes dou v by dou t. We keep dou v by dou t where pressure is constant this term, this side only. So it's and remain term to other side. This becomes r by p plus a by v square plus v minus b into minus 2a by v cube. Now here from this van der Waals gas equation of state we have from a from a in this place p a plus a by v square we write r t by v minus b r t by v minus b we send this v minus b by this side in this place p plus a by v square we write r t by v minus b so this becomes r by r t by v minus b plus we write this same here v minus b into minus 2a by v cube we take 1 by v minus b in denominator term 1 by v minus b common so we get this term rt plus here we are taking 1 by v minus b so we write this term as minus 2a into v minus b whole square by v cube here when we multiply here 1 by v minus b 1 by v minus b cancels and we get the same equation so how now here we send this v minus b to numerator it becomes r into v minus b by rt minus 2a into v minus b whole square by v cube this is dou v by dou t where pressure is constant now here this is in a minus b whole square form so we write r into v minus b by rt minus 2a into v square minus plus b square minus 2 vb by v cube. So here neglecting b square and minus 2 vb with comparing v square we neglect this term and this term entire term then this becomes r into v minus b by r t minus 2a v square by v cube we are neglecting these two terms here square and cube gets cancelled v square and cube gets cancelled we have r into v minus b by r t minus 2a by v now i am going to write here this is dou v by dou t the pressure is constant is equals to r by v minus b by r t minus 2a by b here we want t into dou v by dou t of where pressure is constant so we multiply on both sides with t so this becomes t into dou v by dou t where pressure is constant is equals to r t b minus b by r t minus 2a by v from here from in denominator we take r t common for cancelling we take r t from here common so this term becomes 1 minus 2a by r t v we have taken r t common here there is no r t term so we added in 
denominator and numerator we have taken numerators rt outside then rt rt gets cancelled here we get t into dou v by dou t of p is equals to v minus b by 1 minus 2a by rt v here we need to substitute t into dou v by dou t of p minus v so we subtract volume here on both sides now this can be written as t into dou v by dou t where pressure is constant minus volume is equals to we write this denominator term reciprocally this becomes 1 minus 2a by r t v whole power minus 1 minus v by minus b minus v into this minus can be written as plus here 1 plus 2a by r t v minus v when we multiply these terms we get v minus b when we multiply v minus b with 1 this becomes v minus b v plus here v into 2a v by r t v v v gets cancelled here minus b into this term minus 2a b by r t v minus v here v v gets cancelled so finally we have 2a by r t minus b minus 2ab by rtv by neglecting this term we get finally 2a by rt minus b which is equals to dou v by dou t the pressure is constant minus v we substitute this entire term here in this place we substitute this term here then we get dou t by dou p of h is equals to 1 by cp to substitute this in this entire term we get 2a by rt minus b this is the joule kelvin effect for van der waal gases if we need to make this zero if we need to make this zero this entire term have to become b which must be equals to b rt is equals to b if this is equals to b b minus b becomes zero b minus b becomes 0 so this entire term becomes 0 if we need to make joule kelvin coefficient to 0 2a by rt must be equals to b then the temperature from this temperature t is equals to 2a by br we have written we have sent t to the side we have moved this b to this side we got t is equals to 2a by br this is the inversion temperature of van der waal gas inversion temperature if the gas initial temperature is less than this inversion temperature then it suffers cooling effect if gas of initial temperature of the gas is greater than this inversion temperature it suffers heating effect this is the derivation for Joule Kelvin effect for Van der Waal gas. This can be asked for 5 marks. What is Joule Kelvin effect and derive Joule Kelvin effect for a Van der Waal gas?